Hey everybody, welcome back to the Proton Pack is not a toy. My Proton Pack is in pieces again. So, I've uh, been spending some money. I bought a new battery. It's a battery on top of my amp over there that just took out of the package that it came in in the mail and I've got it charging up over there on the wall charger. So the light still shows to be kind of an amber color when either it turns off or turns green the way I understand it, then it's good to go. And then I will plug it back into my pack. Could be 12 hours, could be three days from what I've seen. So might be a little bit, but that's the update on the pack. So hopefully that'll get my battery back up and running. I uh, spent 25 bucks on that. So I went to walmart.com and looked up the 12 volt battery that I needed and didn't have to buy the charger just bought the battery and it was 25 dollars shipped and got it like three or four days later so very good deal and not having to pay 50 bucks for the whole battery and charger situation again so other than that you see on the floor over here i've got three flight suits the one uh, the bigger one underneath is the true spec that i've been wearing for probably 10 years the smaller one over here is the one that my youngest son has been wearing it's a gibson and barnes Nomex suit. It's actually a lady suit. Uh, really hard to find a kid size suit that uh, looks accurate. So years ago for my oldest son, I bought this one and put the patches on it and you cannot tell that it's any different from a men's suit. So I haven't told him, but uh, it is technically a lady suit. And uh, when I was looking at the pictures of us at the photo shoot that we did for Halloween, I decided that I wanted something more of that color. And it's time to go to see if I could find a Nomex. So Gibson and Barnes was not really available or affordable in my size. So on eBay, I went and I found a seller called Industry Recycles. He's got this suit. Uh, new with tags for $35 it's a 40 long by proper and evidently this is what I think is what the military guys are wearing now and doesn't have the side entry pockets that the true spec has but other than that it's pretty similar to what I'm used to having I tried it on it fit Similarly to the way that the other one did, it goes all the way to the end of my arms on the cuffs, which is good because I've got long arms. And uh, made it all the way down to my ankles where I wanted it to. I was afraid it was going to be a little bit of a high water situation, but it wasn't. And so I'm happy with it. So $50 shipped is what it turned out to be after your shipping and taxes. Um, they were listed for $50, and I did the make an offer on eBay for 35 and they accepted it so uh, check on theirs I don't know if they have a whole lot of different sizes but I did some research to find what would be about the right size for me and this was what I was going to look for and so 40 L or 40 long was what I've got I'm six two and a half about 170 pounds like about 175 pounds excuse me and so tall skinny guy and this worked out for me. It seems like it'll work. I, you know, did all the, the movements and reaching over like I'm gonna grab my wand or sitting like I'm gonna get in and out of the car, uh, squatting down, and didn't really seem to have any problems uh, or restrictions with movement. So I'm gonna have uh, somebody put the patches on there for me uh, for Christmas. Thanks, Mom. And that'll be something that I'll have under the Christmas tree and ready to go and probably either retire my true spec suit or hand that one down to my oldest son who could probably wear it just fine now. He did wear it to school on the Friday before Halloween. I decided I was going to leave the patches on all of these suits and just buy a new set. So I've got a new no Ghost logo from the first movie and custom last name badge for the chest plate on their way from Ghostbusters fans. And those will be in in hand hopefully by around Thanksgiving. 
so that those can get put on the suits or the new suit and that can be packaged and ready for Christmas. Other than that, uh, saving up money for the new Ghostbusters Ecto-1 from Lego and hopefully have that under the Christmas tree for me as well and plan to be doing some videos for that when the time comes. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos.